More than 250 people have now been charged nationwide in connection to that riot. And today, a federal judge denied bond for a Sarasota business owner for his role in January's violence. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith was inside federal court today with why the judge says Graydon Young remains a threat. Graydon Young of Inglewood, Florida, seen wearing a tactical vest and black helmet inside the rotunda on that deadly day. Young faces several charges for breaching the Capitol and damaging property. He is also charged with destruction of records. Prosecutors say he bragged about the breach on Facebook, posting, then later deleting, quote, we stormed and got inside. According to the feds, Young deleted much of his social media footprint that very next day. He attempted to cover up the crime. He bragged about it and then realized when people were actually getting arrested, he tried to destroy the evidence. That's the cover up. In federal court, Young's attorney argued his client should be released on bond, stating Young had a limited role in the civil unrest and even claimed Young was duped into participating. But the judge decided Young is too dangerous to be released, stating, I have never seen anything like this and I can't conceive what else they might do, referring to those who breached the Capitol. Mr. Foley, a few words about your client being denied bond? Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't comment on that right now, but thank you. The FBI says Young and his sister, Laura Steele, joined the Oath Keepers in December, a far-right anti-government militia group that focuses on recruiting current and former military members and law enforcement. Smaller chapters all over the country, and they are incredibly dangerous in the context that they now believe and they have for the last three and a half years believed that they have the green light to do whatever is necessary to bring us to a full-fledged civil war. And we also learned today Kelly and Connie Meggs of Marion County were also denied bond for their alleged roles on January 6th. Both are reported members of the Oath Keepers here in Florida. In Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.